Hello everybody. Uh, you'll recall how we visited LB Enclosures and we looked at their operation there, the things that they're doing. Well today we're going to actually see this in action as we visit Opsis. So come and join me. So Tom, thank you very much for the opportunity to come to Opsis. Can you tell us what is Opsis? So Opsis um, exists to make drivers drive safer in the police, fire and ambulance world through the use of our touchscreen technology to control lights, sirens, radios, number plate recognition systems, command and control. We basically declutter the dash to make it safer for the driver to control everything from the OEM touchscreen that is now standard in every vehicle that is bought. Wow, okay, that's really quite fascinating. Um, we're gonna see more of this and I look forward to that. So how have LB Enclosures supported you in what you do? So from the start of our journey, we needed a partner to develop and, and supply an enclosure for our PCBs to go in. Our engineers designed the PCB, designed the hardware, and we write the software and firmware. Um, but we needed a partner to, uh, to, to actually provide the right type of enclosure to be used in vehicles. So Lincoln Bins worked with us. In fact, our, our PCBs have been designed with Lincoln Bins' enclosures in mind. So as a, as a team, we work together to design the PCBs in the right size um, to be able to fit into their, into their hardware. Okay, that sounds very good. Can we see some of these things in application? Absolutely. I'll show you one in, the, in an actual police vehicle so you can uh, see what it looks like in real life. Okay, Tom, you've got me sat in the front of this uh, police car, not a position I'm normally used to, of course. Uh, tell me more about where your product is. So this is a good example of a, um, an Opsis solution. This is your traditional screen, in this case a Ford Everest or a Ford Ranger. Big 12-inch screen. You can do all of your infotainment stuff on that screen. And then through a simple switch, we switch away to our system. So you can control lights, <coughs> sirens. Um, we can control matrix messages. So on the, on the back of the vehicle, we want to put a, a please slow message. We can do that from here. Right. We can use AMPR systems so that you can look at cameras fitted in the front or rear of the vehicle which have taken pictures of registration numbers of vehicles that are either wanted or suspicious or stolen, um, all from that touchscreen. And all whilst you're driving with the least amount of distraction because it is literally right in front of here. And switching back to the infotainment system is just by one switch. Right, so in terms of safety then, this is a much much more effective way to work. Yeah, traditionally you would have a lot of equipment on the dash. You can't do that anymore because there's an airbag here and if you put any kit that's anywhere near the airbag and you have an accident, you end up with a phone or a tablet in your face, which is going to be quite dangerous. Wow, okay. Um, if the equipment would be fitted somewhere down here, then as you're driving, you would need to look down to try and find out where that is and that would distract you more. So it being in the center of the dash, in view at all times, at arm's length, is the most safest and, and, and best way for drivers to control equipment. So Tom, uh, we've seen the operation, now we're looking here at what? So this is the technology that makes it all happen. So here we have the, the box that makes all the lights and sirens go, but most importantly, our Virto switch inside the Lincoln Bins enclosure, fitted in the back of the vehicle um, to control all of the equipment that I've showed you just now. Absolutely brilliant. So Martin, uh, Tom's shown us his system. Could you show us a bit more about what LB Enclosures have done in order to demonstrate this? Absolutely, so Tom has obviously got the system working in the car, mm. but for every demo, you can't really take the car to, to everywhere. It's really, if you need to car. So what we wanted to do was come with a portable system that allowed some demonstration off the screen, like it would work in the car. So. Here's the screen that you've seen in the car earlier. Behind that, it's got some bracketry. Then it's got a panel. Then it's got some bits to mount the enclosure into. So now they have a demo unit. And that conversation sort of went, well, if you can do this, what else can you do? Right. So then we sort of moved on to, we actually designed and helped Tom's guys with the cage, manufactured the cage, the bracket that you can see, some of the brackets on the car. So we actually moved a little way away from the metal boxes because like you were saying earlier, we're looking for partners. We want a right. partner, marry up our expertise with their expertise to give a final product. So Martin, I've seen some of the work now that you are doing for Opsis. It's pretty cool. I've got to be honest, I am quite seriously impressed by some of the work. So what's it been like for you to work with Opsis? 
to be honest, Opsys are the sort of customer that we really like working with. They're enthusiastic, they have a great product, and they're really driven. They know what they want, makes it really easy. So our part is, how do we fit what we do with what they do to give them the solution? So when we first met, Tom was looking for somebody to help take his board, put it inside a box. So it started life, like we've seen before when you're at the factory, it starts life, it's, it's a bent metal enclosure that's painted. Now it was fine for in the beginning, but as we started moving, the company was moving forward, they wanted a different look, and this is where we were trying to find a way that we could help, and as we started moving forward, when we were in the factory again, we, we saw how this process worked. So this is Tom's new product now. Now it's a million miles away from where we started. We've done the journey together. That's the sort of that's what we want to do. We want to grow with our customers because we're all in this together. If they don't sell any products, we don't sell any products. You know, that's what that's where we're trying to find a way to make that process easier. Right. Right, understood. So r really with some of these things that you're doing there, um, is it a case of the two of you sitting down to defining your ex their exact needs? Absolutely. So we sit down and with Tom it's really easy because he's very clear, he knows what he wants. Um, it's then our part to take that and try and turn it into a reality, which is sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard because we're trying to fit things into places that aren't meant to fit. That's, that's what we're doing. Some of the projects that we've done, it's we've got this great product, now we need to demo it. Now, that's great when it's in a car. What do you do when you can't take the car to a demo? So it's we've got to then take something and, and fit it in. That's the key part. Okay, so we're talking here about true engineering, about real engineering, about finding a solutions that way. So the next question logically is where do these markets go? Because we've seen the police vehicles, we've seen what Tom is doing with those, but obviously markets are going to be developing. Maybe we could get Tom back and look at that. Well, um, I'm not supposed to enjoy my job, but today has been a really really good day. Fantastic engineering that I've seen. The question that I'm left with is where do we go next? What do we do? So guys, how do you see the market developing? So our home market is the UK and Ireland and, and we actually sell directly to our customers in the UK but we're expanding. We're selling into Europe, we're selling into Western Europe, the Dutch police, Belgian police, we're looking into Scandinavia, we're expanding into Australia, um, into the police fire and ambulance market. Um, we're looking at the Middle East and ultimately uh, into the US too. So as a company, we're going to be growing quite, a, quite aggressively. And we need a partner like Lincoln Bin to be able to um, support us in this process. Some of the products may actually end up being assembled in other countries. If we go into the US market, we probably have to ship the hardware and the PCBs to the US in order for them to be assembled there. So this is where we need a strong partner behind us to be able to do this. And I think that's, that's the key part, the partnership to us is, is the most important thing. So whilst ultimately we're a subcontract manufacturer, but we want to partner with the likes of Tom to help them by not interrupting its supply chain, making sure the quality is, ex is the same expectation for home soil as it is somewhere else, because then there's no questions being raised. We know Tom's got a quality product. We've got to make sure ours matches up. So then there's no problems at all. As we emerge, we want to start thinking about how we can support the defence market. Obviously, it's a big thing at the moment. There's been an injection from the government into this market. How, how can we support our customers? Now, that's something that this application is completely transferable with Tom because moving from blue light to defence is it's a great segue. So we've got to make sure we've got the things in place to support. Do we have all the creditations looked after? Do we have the supply chain in place? Do we have everything? that Tom needs to be able to go out into that market and seamlessly move forward. Um, and as you can see, you've, you've been here today, you can see those products, are, they have the application and they, they, it's a great product. And in terms of accreditations, uh, I mean, our product is now e-marked. So we have to do this in order to fit the product into vehicles. Um, for the military, there'll be other um, testing that we would need to do. Having a really solid, good quality enclosure will reduce the EMC emissions and and its susceptibility to other um, noise or RF noise. So this product for us is, is one of the best products out there. 
and we want to continue working with Link Events for many years to come. Well, thank you both for an excellent day. It's been great to see what you're doing here at Opsys, Tom. Uh, the development and the future it sounds really exciting. And Martin, this is a clear example of engineering support and the, the difference that that makes. So if you're watching this and you'd like to find out how LB Enclosures could support you, please follow the link, talk to Martin and the team, um, because there's no question this is clearly their speciality. It's what they do. So I really think it would be worthwhile having that conversation. Thanks ever so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.